another denim review tonight, um, and another from the brand Tanuki. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll have seen my recent review on this fantastic uh, Type 3 jacket from Tanuki. Um, but today we've got some indigo and indigo jeans, so instead of having the, uh, the natural um, thread mixed in with the indigo, we've got both indigo warp and weft, um, which brings about this lovely uh, sort of dark blue, navy blue sort of look. Um, and for me, um, the reason why I've picked these up is because these will fit in really well into the office. So really it allows you to achieve that sort of smart casual chino look but also um, bringing in some Japanese denim, which is always a win for me. Um, so Tanuki, Japanese denim, um, I explained it in my previous video about the jacket here, but um, it seems to me Tanuki are almost a super group of Japanese denim, so that they, they have brought together artisans from across the board um, to bring expertise from across a number of brands to create a, a new brand called Tanuki. Um, relatively young brand, if I understand correctly. Um, Tanuki is a folklore character, a raccoon dog um, with shape-shifting properties. Um, and I described that last time, there's a sort of a trans transformative theme around their brand, and indeed very much with denim. You know, the whole thing about denim, for me at least, is to see it uh, evolve and change over time, and that's really the beauty of the fabric. Um, their symbol here is uh, the uh, Japanese uh, symbol for two, which I believe is uh, pronounced ni. Um, it's also the colours of the Japanese flag. Um, and they take that idea a little bit further on this, uh, on this tag here, where they say, transform your being. So um, I guess they're talking about the, the, the transformative uh, ability of wearing different clothes and the, the fabric itself, um, and also the character there. So as I say, this is a uh, indigo and indigo uh, woven fabric. Um, like with their jacket, they go for a really, really nice uh, slubby feel, lots of texture in here, um, a loose, um, low tension weave, which I have uh, some great hopes about stretching out. That's certainly the experience I've had on these uh, Oni jeans. These are a slightly heavier jean. These are 20 ounce. Uh, this fabric is 15, I believe. Um, but I've really found these stretch quite well. So with these, I've gone for a fairly narrow waist or a slim waistband. Um, first try on uh, is telling me that they'll take a little bit of work to get truly comfortable. Um, but I've gone down to a, a 31 uh, tag size, and I guess that takes us on to some uh, some dimensions here, some measurements. So on the waist, this comes in at a 32 and a half. Um, this is a high rise, so it's 11 inches on the front rise, 15 inches on the rear, a nice slim taper with 11 and a half on the thigh, eight and a quarter on the knee, going down to a nice tapered cuff at six and three quarters. The inseam on these are just over 34 inches. Now that's a little bit longer than I'd like normally, um, but perfect for cuffing. So normally I'd wear a 32 inch leg um, if I wasn't to cuff, but with these, um, because the fabric is a really, really nice indigo and indigo, um, I can, I think I'm going to try cuffing these and it will give a very subtle look, um, but it will give a little pop of the, uh, of the selvage uh, edge details there. We'll come in for some close-ups in a minute, but a really nice uh, royal blue and white selvage. Um, and I'll be wearing these, I think, in the office with a nice pair of brown brogue boots. So I think that will look quite nice. Um, still plenty smart enough, but allowing us to, to fully enjoy some denim in the office. So I think probably the best thing to do is come in and look at some close-ups, and then we'll wrap up the video. Coming for some close-ups here, starting at the top front, you can see some lovely uh, blackened uh, button details here with a stylized image of the Tanuki raccoon dog. Opening those up, that image is repeated all the way down the button fly. And on the rear of those buttons, you can see the uh, Tanuki 
knee symbol. The rivets on the pockets also bear the legend Tanuki and on the inside they're simply branded up with the, the generic uh, universal. The pockets are lined with this wonderful uh, chambray material as we found in the jacket really really nice super thick and obviously uh, a variation of colour front and back so depending which side of the warp and weft you see. Um, chambray is a, uh, a French fabric if I understand correctly. Um, looks really nice in shirts, not something I've had experience with. The pockets reveal a really nice pop of colour with the blue stitch detail. Now that's repeated down the inside leg and it's a theme that we've seen coming across on the jacket as well. See little pops of colour on the seam and on the, the eye of the button there. Looking inside, obviously you've got the, the tab. So these are the ID 0830HT. That's standing for high um, rise and tapered leg. The nice little Tanuki patch there with the the face of that character and some Japanese text. If anyone can tell me what that Japanese text says, I'll be really interested. On the back there you can see the hidden rivets from the back pockets. And one thing I quite like, and a lot of jean manufacturers do it, but the fifth pocket uh, replicating the, the shape of the, uh, of the back pockets there. Just quite like that, aesthetically quite pleasing to me rather than just a, a cut off shape. And on the inside you've got a pop of that selvage. Moving down the jeans, obviously you've got the, the blue stitch on the inside leg that I mentioned. And you've just got this fantastic uh, slubby loose weave fabric. Um, some few flecks of white there, but that will sort of increase over time as the as the indigo dye wears off. And I expect these to show their fades and their patterns much quicker uh, and with more striking contrast than traditional indigo because it's got twice as much uh, indigo to shed, uh, having featured on both the warp and the weft. And then just moving down to the nice tapered cuff, we've got more salvage detail. Really, really nice, thick royal blue selvage edge there. And as I say, I'm going to cuff these and uh, wear them with some brown brogues for the office, I think. Flipping over to the back here. We've got the, uh, the Tanuki knee symbol on this uh, Fairly thin um, goat skin patch, really pliable. Um, stitched down all four sides, so the belt's going to run over that. Well constructed belt loops. Again, with the uh, evolution of this fabric, I expect to see colour pops on these really, really quickly, as I do around the, the edges of the yoke and the edges of the pockets. Um, very simple pocket design, so no arcs, um, but you do have this. Uh, stitch line and that is because I can't actually get you an image of it um, but they are half lined with the, uh, the chambray material again which is quite a nice feature so it doesn't give you uh, a full covering but it gives you structural reinforcement just where you need it where if you're going to put your wallet in your back pocket you're going to lose uh, your pockets over time and that um, extra lining will give it a little bit of extra life um, I personally don't particularly like car carrying my wallet in my back pocket because I go for a slimmer fit and obviously that, that does sort of make it a little bit more uncomfortable as it's drawn in close to your body. On the other side here you've got the nice hang tag and the symbol which we talked about earlier, Japanese flag colours there. Also got a little tag here which talks about uh, the brand, a bit washed out. I'll Put in a close up of that one. And that's about it.
Okay, we're just looking at these jeans on now. Um, as I say, they're a nice, slim, tapered look. Um, the waistband will need a little bit of work for me, so I'm hoping for a about a two inch stretch on that. I like to have about 34, 34 and a half inches on the waist. Um, but let's see how that goes. Bringing us to the end of the video now. Um, that's about it for these jeans. So as with everything on my channel, I'd like to do a full life review. So expect to see six month and 12 month updates on these jeans. If you haven't seen the review on the jacket here, absolutely fantastic. This is a traditional uh, denim. So it's got um, both the, the warp and the weft uh, in, in contrasting colors. So this will this will age a little bit more um, traditionally. Um, I hope with the, uh, with the jeans here, we'll see some nice pops of white as the, uh, as the weft or the, uh, the slub wears through. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't seen the review on this jacket, absolutely fantastic, please do check that out. If you haven't seen my channel before, um, I'd love it if you subscribed. Um, denim, heritage boots, um, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of thing. Bit of cycling, bit of guitar, um, check it out, it might share some other common interests. If you thought this video was helpful and useful, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I'd love it if you joined us for another video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.